let's do this in a more cheerful note than the last one by the way uh, an update on my x100t the fn button on the top is not working anymore and the screen it flickers too bad to be able to shoot photos so I think it's a bust. Hey what's good everyone, Chris here, welcome back to the channel and today we're talking about another camera that I own. This is the Fujifilm X-C4. This beautiful little camera that was matching my X100T that unfortunately I uh, managed to destroy. Now um, today I want to tell you a few things about this one, specifically the likes and dislikes in my opinion and this is only my opinion so if you're finding this video helpful if you want to buy this camera and uh, you find this video uh, you know useful in your endeavors please go ahead and give it a thumbs up also subscribe to the channel for more and let's get to it because there is a lot to talk well not that much but still so first and foremost what i like and uh, like i said i want to start this in a more cheerful way i love the design of this camera this is the first thing that uh, strikes me every time i'm taking the camera from my desk or shelf and go out and shoot i love it it feels like a leica and uh, even if I'm getting a little bit of a uh, fire in the comments I don't care I do like it and it feels very nice in hand I love the design I love the flat uh, surfaces I love the corners and the cuts everything seems nice and professional it seems almost like a different camera not a Fujifilm maybe a Leica again but um, I uh, like how Fujifilm kept all the buttons and dials on the top not all of them except for the um, focus mode button that we all dread not having on this one but it is what it is and there are a few design flaws that I want to talk about but that will be for dislikes and uh, if uh, I would be to rate this camera in terms of design I'll probably give it an 8.5 maybe 9 out of 10 in my book and uh, if you are a hipster and you like cameras that look nice and uh, they can also provide well this is for you the second thing is the image quality and uh, if you didn't know this one has an x trans 4 sensor the last sensor that Fujifilm released with the X-T4 the X-T3 actually first the X-Pro3 X-S10 it's a sensor that is already tested and it plays very well with the colors it renders uh, beautiful images even in black and white uh, the quality of the image is beautiful you have all the film simulations so nothing to uh, complain so uh, yeah image quality is definitely a win-win uh, in this case the third thing is the flip screen the flip screen is beautiful and uh, if you know me I uh, used to shoot the xc 3 a lot because I love that camera the only gripe that I had is the fact that the screen was fixed this one flips up actually it flips up and over so you will be able to see uh, what you're doing if you are shooting uh, let's say family photos or uh, if you're filming yourself like I'm doing if you're a content creator if you are doing vlogs everything is great about this flip uh, screens now there are a few uh, things that I want to talk about it you won't be able to shoot with the screen up if and using the EVF because the screen blocks the EVF obviously and also it it feels, it feels a little bit flimsy and here on the back I'm not sure if you can see there is a small ribbon that basically connects the display to the motherboard and this one seems a bit flimsier so um, you should be very careful now this camera uh, lacks a few buttons and dials that others do have I'm talking about Fuji lineup and uh, that's uh, unfortunate but still you can customize this camera to your heart content using the touch uh, on uh, the screen and swipes up down left and right and I showed you in a video I'm gonna put it up here somewhere how to overcome the quirks that comes out of not having all the buttons and uh, the dials that other do but it's still a very customizable camera and that's a plus and for me I kind of like to have all those on the go and not have to double through the menus so it's a plus and it's a like for me to uh, be a pretty customizable camera 
in terms of uh, menus and settings that you need to change on the go. Another one, and this one is a little bit related to the previous one, is the fact that you can set up the settings for your video separately, even in the Q menu. And uh, that's great, especially when you're running and gunning, because if you're switching to video, you can easily change the settings using the quick menu. And also you can set the quick the settings for video in a separate menu inside the menu. And that is amazing. So uh, I would definitely rate this camera as a great YouTube camera, especially if you want to start a channel in 2022, uh, you will have great uh, image quality for photos, you'll have great image quality for videos, it shoots 4K, um, 30 frames per second, 120 or 240 I think in 1080p so it's very suitable for YouTube and especially for talking uh, heads like this and I shoot a lot of videos on it but the fact that you can change the settings separately from um, photography and uh, you can have them separately uh, the way you want it for video that is great and the last like which is a weird one actually these ones you might have not heard from everyone but um, this one is even weirder, so I uh, kind of enjoy the fact that Fujifilm came up with this design for these strap ears that uh, are helpful to, uh, you know, put a wrist strap or a uh, neck strap, but now they're square and uh, that's great. It's um, they, they went off with that design when you have that small triangle that always rattles and I hate that. This one it's easy to uh, put the strap, especially the flat straps uh, through it. Also it looks nice and I think it's better to protect the camera uh, if it drops uh, you know sideways and uh, it hits one of these ears. I know someone who ruined their XT20 Omar and uh, he needed to use some uh, special glue to or molding or something to put it back. Practically that small ear uh, went in through the body while well, this one seems to bend faster because it's flatter and a bit bigger and it seems to be more sturdier because it takes a little bit of a larger or wider area on this part of the body now getting to the dislikes and that is important because these are not dislikes like you know the usual ones but things that I encountered and I want to tell you about first obviously is the focus mode dial right here that I overcame using the back uh, swipe the screen swipes on the back and I showed you in the video and um, that is important but uh, it's still I don't know cumbersome to uh, not having here and being able to switch all the time from manual to uh, continuous to single it's um, it's kind of weird that Fujifilm went with this uh, you know removal and uh, created a little bit of a drama in uh, the Fujifilm uh, community. But still, you can overcome that and that is great. But for me, that's a minus. Also, the minus is the battery. And uh, you know already that this one takes uh, the same battery as all the Fujifilm cameras except the very old ones and the X-T4. It's the MPW126S and uh, this is a battery that it's not terrible but it I won't say it's a great battery. Probably rated around 325 shots, something like that. Uh, I got more out of it. It depends on your style of shooting but for me it was uh, still cumbersome and it is still cumbersome to have two, three batteries when I'm going out and shoot. So that is definitely a a gripe. Another gripe, uh, because we were talking about design earlier, it's the fact that Fujifilm put this tripod mount very close to the battery door, which is not only the battery door, it's also the SD card uh, slot door. And um, if you're putting a uh, Arca Swiss plate on uh, this camera, you won't be able to open the door. Actually, this is not an Arca Swiss plate, it's just a small tripod that has a rounded, I don't know, like a ring that tightens the camera on. And even with this, which is pretty small, you won't be able to open the camera. So to be able to open it, you will have to take it off. And then the door is gonna flip uh, out and you will be able to change the card or the battery. If you're shooting landscapes, if you're shooting portraits, if you're shooting stuff that needs a tripod, like long exposures or time-lapse, um, 
that's not nice because the battery won't hold that much and let's say you can use uh, higher capacity cards but a battery it's a battery and you need to change it so taking the camera off and on all the time that's not good at all and getting into more like electronical parts of it i hate dvf i mean hate it's a pretty harsh word i'd say i dislike how they did this first dvf is the same evf like in the xc3 so four years old something like that there is not much in terms of resolution uh, i think it's exactly the same one and that's not it the fact that they came up with this design for the whole unit that holds the evf the display inside which is plastic pure plastic without any kind of rubbery grip here to uh, you know make your holding the camera to your eye comfortable i don't even know how they thought about it plus because it's not recessed enough and it's pretty much flat uh, it has like a half a millimeter off the screen it uh, always affects the uh, cleanliness of the uh, screen and uh, the sweat on my eyebrow as well as my eyelashes are always uh, getting into the screen and I have to wipe it and it's not that easy especially because it's not rounded it's a round um, let's say holder but a square EVS like a screen so it is kind of cumbersome uh, getting it dirty and needed to wipe it every you know one or two hours it's it's not a great thing I'm always keeping a uh, microfiber cloth with me all the time to wipe the back of the camera and also the EVF but it's still not practical at all and the last thing that I hate about it and this is a hate uh, it's because it affects my health or not necessarily my health but the health of my um, you know my arm my hand my palm it's the joystick on the back I only buy cameras that have joysticks on the back because I like it and the only camera that I don't have a joystick on it is the ZFC that films me right now the Nikon ZFC but when I'm buying a camera this is the most important part of my investment because I want to have a joystick and be able to change the autofocus points fast well you can change them fast but not on this camera because I have to go with my uh, thumb all the way down holding the camera normally and plus it's not comfortable at all and you can drop the camera using it one hand and if you're not using a strip uh, like I said a wrist strap uh, that, that can be very very uncomfortable and uh, even if you do you have to uh, push the camera a little bit up and then use the thumb because from here especially if you have medium to large hands it's gonna be very tough to go with your thumb all the way here underneath your palm and uh, change the autofocus points and in an hour or two you're gonna feel that pain in your thumb and I don't like that so uh, that is something I kind of hate I don't see a solution to this uh, other than having an extra grip uh, longer grip so my hand is gonna be a little bit lower and my thumb uh, obviously is gonna be lower so I can change the autofocus point that is kind of ugly so yeah that's it for the XC4 I do love it um, though uh, there are things that I had to uh, you know think and overcome and you know get solutions for I still love the camera because it's a beautiful beautiful sensor and it's a camera that you can also change the lenses on it's an interchangeable camera that comparing with the X100 series where you have a fixed lens a 23 millimeter uh, 35 in full frame this one can take any kind of lenses from let's say a 35 millimeter lens all the way up to a it's a 400 millimeter lens and uh, that's great because you never know when you need to shoot different stuff you never know uh, what comes uh, what kind of uh, you know situations uh, are coming to you and you will need to use other lenses than just a 35 millimeter lens guys thank you so much for watching this video thank you for being here again thank you for subscribing to the channel don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful in uh, your decision to buy this camera and uh, don't forget to stay focused my friends i uh, will definitely see you in a bit